So I'm going to go over here today is a um, basically a corner cutout on uh, this is a three bend corner. Um, it's not a simple corner that you can just use the a cutout to close the corner and, and create a, um, a nice round cutout or teardrop. Um, it's a piece of 090 4130 uh, 90th ethic. Um, and the, the bends here are a little kind of odd that um, when you create them, it creates some funny notches. And I've added material back in. So um, when we go into the flat pattern, um, we've minim I've minimized the gap. Um, so I could have as much material in there, um, basically because the material would come from the same spot in the flat pattern. So um, we're going to have a little gap there. And that's uh, that gap there is um, probably about... 60 or 80 thou, but what I want to fix is this ugly little notch here. Um, so we're going to do is uh, unbend it, um, select all the bends, and you can see here what we have is this uh, multi-sided facet face, multi-face cutout that, yeah, the laser or plasma cut it out, but uh, it's kind of dirty and sloppy and um, potential for cracking here when you bend it. Um, yeah, it's going to get welded, but you might not be able to um, see where the end of the, the, the crack that's going to form. So um, it's always nice, especially with 4130, to, uh, um, to have a nice round cutout. Um, this being 090, uh, I'll put just a 100 thou um, cutout or diameter cutout. Um, usually I just use at least the uh, material thickness, so that's what we're going to go with here. Um, we'll start with uh, start with the two holes, and then we're going to move uh, this other little sliver here. I want to go tangent to the cutout. We'll take that one. This top one has. Uh, too much material removed from the previous cut. So we're going to go back in here and add that in. Go ahead and cut it, cut it out to uh, where we want it being tangent. Cut on this one here. Then we'll throw a little radius on the transition of uh, basically the two uh, two faces. Do that there. Do the same on the other side. Add this uh, little piece of material. We might be able to. Uh, I was going to say we could maybe delete the two faces, but uh, with that round face, I'm not sure where it would end up. Um, also might be able to do this on one cut. Let's see. Like it sometimes takes a little longer, including all the edges. But we can definitely turn it into one cut. I think we might be on this. This one here, let's see. Hard to tell. Yeah. So we got one cut out on this teardrop. Radius those two uh, edges. And you can see there, now we have a nice smooth transition, laser cutting. It's not going to slow down and no matter what, it's going to take more time to cut. So um, now we've got a nice diameter, smooth flowing. Bend it back up. Nice cut out. Nice smooth flow for the weld. Back up and you can kind of see a few of the other pieces that uh, kind of get welded in there. Quite a bit of weld in the junction either way, but it's always nice to take the time, um, give the part a chance, give it a radius, put a nice uh, smooth 
smooth cut out in there. Help your part out. <laughs>